The Bitcoin price has broken out, and are we really potentially headed towards 14,000? Let's dive in and analyze. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Crypto Kirby here, your cryptocurrency expert, back with another edition of the daily live stream. Wow, my friends, a lot to discuss here today and a lot to analyze. But of course, before we begin, if you could leave a thumbs up for the algorithm, it would be so greatly appreciated. Thank you very much. Now, let's begin right here on the one day time frame for Bitcoin. My friends, we are still ping ponging inside of this parallel channel. Right now, we have tested the upper line of resistance here, which is also in confluence with this red box of prior resistance before our last dump. You should all see this, this was actually a head and shoulders pattern here. The bulk of this resistance falls within this red range. And right now, Bitcoin has once again tested up into this range and for the time being is seeing a slight sell off. Nothing too alarming right here, but when we go on to the one hour time frame, you can see that some sell pressure has in fact come in. Let's get this crypto. But back to the daily time frame, because right now, for me, what's most important is the macro trend. Is this really the start of a new bull market? Or is this just going to be a trap that gets all the little moon boys excited? Well, you know, Carbonaggia, the fiat system is, is collapsing and we're going to the moon. <laughs> Listen up, little James. Is this a trap or is this the real deal? Let's analyze. So right now, with this possible bullish construction here, if the trading action can stay above this green range here, which for me goes into the mid 10,000s, if Bitcoin can keep its buy pressure up above the mid 10,000s, above all of this historic price action confluence here, support and resistance flips, I do still think that this all has the possibility here to be the very early stages of the bullish construction of a potential new bull market. Also take into consideration that right now the U.S. dollar index is under pressure again. And if this is going to wind up being a longer term bear market for the U.S. dollar index, similar to what we saw back in 2017, which is this action right here, let me just remind you guys that that action coincided with this run up in the Bitcoin price all the way up to 20,000. Let's get this crypto. So right now we are seeing the U.S. dollar index seeing some more downward pressure here. If this is going to turn into a longer term bear market, I think it could help the Bitcoin price. And if the Bitcoin price is holding its buy support above that mid $10,000 region right here, my friends, I think that this certainly could be the early stages of the initial buy pressure coming in for the bull market. Let's get this crypto. Now, we do have several warning signs here um, and, and some things that you may actually like. OK, so first and foremost, let's take a look at the RSI. Now, for me, my friends, on yesterday's stream, I pointed out that we could have possibly been seeing a bearish divergence built here on the RSI. We did not get that. We actually closed above. So nothing concerning there. Higher highs on a price action, higher highs on the RSI. But we still do right now have this bearish divergence on the MACD histogram. Okay, so just watch out for that, right? We've had a higher high in the price action, lower highs on the MACD histogram. Just watch out for that. Right now, it is a little bit of a warning sign. If we take a look at our moving averages here, we can see that there's really nothing that looks quite bearish to me here. I mean, we did have our bullish golden cross right here, the 20 moving average, the 20 day moving average moving above the 50. Right now, the 200 is right there as well. To me, this looks very healthy. Okay. And I like the fact that all of them are pretty much right around this green box range, right? Again, support and resistance flips all in here, right? Support over here turned into resistance and now broken through. So if we are to plunge, we also have uh, this higher low trajectory working for us, right? The possible bounce zone of the upward sloping support trend line of this parallel channel, this green box in and of itself, let's get this crypto. So if we do drop here, you know, I don't think it has to be the end of the world. Everything looks quite nice to me there, in my opinion. Let's get this crypto. 
Where things start to get a little interesting for me, though, is when we take a look at the altcoin market. Okay, let's move over to the total altcoin market cap chart right now. Uh, and there is a little bit of concern here for me because you guys know that the altcoins can sometimes front run the Bitcoin price, right? And they can sometimes give us clues as to what we could potentially expect for the Bitcoin price moving forward. So let's get into the altcoins right now. But once more, my friends, if you haven't already, a thumbs up really helps the channel. Thank you. And if you're brand new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, tick the little bell, select all, and let's get this crypto. Welcome to the most realistic Bitcoin technical analysis channel you're ever going to find. Okay, so now let's get into the altcoins. Here on the daily time frame, just zooming out, take the moving averages off for now, just notice where the red box is, okay? And this is a range here where uh, on the way up on our parabolic run in 2017, we saw that this was a resistance point. After the bubble pop, look, my friends, right into the red range, was support, okay? Then it dropped again, support once more. Dropped again, support once more. Then fast forward a long time into the future. What is that? Roughly, you know, almost a year, my friends. Almost exactly a year. We test back up into this range. Resistance blow off top. Fast forward, okay? Many months into the future. Test up into this resistance range again. Rejected. Right now, we have made the most progress we've seen so far, right? This is the highest high that we've got to uh, in terms of after this, this pop, right? Especially these two here, we have created a higher high, which is inherently healthy in my opinion. But right now, uh, we do risk seeing this become a failure and rejection range. And if we pull up our indicators here, what I want to show you guys is on the weekly time frame, okay? Let's take a look at the RSI here. So basically the last three times that we've gone into overbought territory on the RSI above a 70 on the weekly time frame, back here at our parabolic blow off top, plunged into the abyss. Over here, my friends, back in June roughly of 2019, tapped overbought territory, plunged into the abyss. Back here in February of 2020, tapped overbought territory plunged into the abyss. And right now, here in 2020, late 2020, we have gone up into overbought territory. And right now we are seeing the trend stagnate sideways. Is this going to lead to yet another plunge into the abyss? Only time will tell. Of course, past performance does not indicate future results. Leave me a comment down below with what you think if that fractal, if you will, is going to lead us into a plunge into the abyss, all right? Leave a comment with your opinion on that. Also, another thing to note here is that for the first time, let's actually go, we have not seen negative red momentum building here on the MACD histogram on the weekly chart for the altcoin market. Uh, you know, we've been green since the 27th of April, 2020. So we are, you know, roughly about six months out, ladies and gentlemen, and it has been green upwards momentum that whole time. We are now seeing building red momentum here. Um, not what I want to see, especially up in this historic range of difficulty, right? This range of difficulty here, um, and mix that into the pot there uh, with the fact that there, there is that potential RSI fractal. And if we put on our moving averages here, let's actually pull those up right now. Uh, the weekly looks fine. There's not much, not much to take into consideration there. It's the daily that's bothering me here, okay? Because if you notice where we are at right now, look at this. The 50-day moving average just crossed below the 20-day. Very bizarre. And we also run the risk here. Look at the 200 day, the blue line right here. We run the risk of seeing another bearish cross below that line at some point in the very near future. Very, very interesting predicament here. Um, you know, this really looks like it's coiling up for a large move. Um, and it's not a perfect pennant, 
But, you know, if you just look at it, we are in somewhat of a consolidation type of pennant. I mean, the range here is very choppy. Um, you know, it just is what it is. But these moving averages are quite concerning for me, my friend. So just keep that on your radar. We do run the risk right now of seeing a possible bearish death cross there on the altcoin chart with everything else taken into consideration. OK, so um, right now it's a little weird right? It's a little odd because we could possibly see um, the altcoin market telling a sign here that, hey, it's possible that there is actually weakness in this market, right? Look at Ethereum here. Look at these moving averages. This is a very rare occurrence. I mean, look at them. They're all almost essentially right at the same point. You don't see that often, my friends. It's very, very rare that you see that, especially in such a volatile asset class like cryptocurrency. Um, right now, this looks like it is potentially getting ready to explode in one direction or the other, right? Um, and it doesn't have to be bearish, right? You guys can see here that I have this range outlined here. Old prior resistances could possibly act as new support. Just keep in mind, right, that even down from where we are now to the bottom of my green box is possibly a 30% drop, right? The bottom of my box is around $260 USD. So if we were to see a plunge there, I still think finding support around 260 could potentially be healthy for the longer term trend. But... It, it, we have to take it day by day. There are no certainties or guarantees in trading. I'm not saying that drop has to occur. Uh, we could rip right up. I'm just simply stating, take notice here on the daily moving averages, okay? The 20, the 50, and the 200. Just just take that into consideration, okay? Um, and also take into consideration that for the first time in a very long time, the top altcoins, uh, at least the total altcoin market cap and here on Ethereum specifically, are building negative MACD histogram momentum on the weekly time frame. Not exactly what I want to see there. Also, keep in mind, I nearly forgot, here on the Bitcoin CME futures chart, we do still have two gaps looming here, okay? We never filled that gap at 9,735. We got down to about the 9,850 level. This gap still has never closed. Of course, it does not have to fill or close, but um, you know it could, right? Keep that on your radar. They have filled with a very high degree of accuracy in the past. And also, my friends, we still do have this little miniature gap here at 11,205. Very similar. I mean, it looks like it filled, but you know, it, it technically hasn't, my friends. Let's actually just see here. Uh, the low there was 11,225. The high here was 11,205, right? So there is a $20, a $20 gap there still, right? So just be on your toes here, right? Stay alert, my friends, because right now this market certainly appears to be heating up, okay? Um, I've told you guys that I've been taking a very patient approach here. Uh, I'm not rushing myself uh, to look to get too aggressive here or anything like that because we're in a little bit of an uncertain time right now. Um, as you guys are well aware, there are a lot of external factors coming into play for the Bitcoin price right now. Uh, stimulus packages, um, things like uh, political reasons, etc., right, that are having a, a, a ton of influence on not only the Bitcoin and crypto market, but the traditional markets and Forex markets as well. So right now, uh, you just need to have a plan. You need to remain cool, calm, and collected, right? That's what the Don is doing. I'm preparing to strike like a cobra out of the grass and get this crypto. Just remaining patient, right? Um, I need to see the reaction here. Are we going to get this pullback? Are we going to rip right through, okay? And if we do rip right through, uh, the reason, right, for the title of this video, 14,000, is because, my friends, we do essentially have this top here that, let's actually pull up our Fibonacci, okay? What I want to do here is show you guys that the Fibonacci extension target, right, that we hit all the way back here around 14,000, this could be an area that the bulls look to test up to again, right? The 0.618 golden is right there around 13,384 on my chart, okay? That is going from our roughly 20K 
top, our all-time high, down to the bottom of the bear market, right? Um, and for me, right there, if we are to see this level get broken through of about 12,600, right? If we are to smash through there, I think the next logical speculative bullish target that we may look to see is this 0.618 golden fib in the mid 13,000s and possibly with some overly bullish exuberance test back up towards 14,000. Let's get this crypto. So right now, uh, the trend is very interesting here, my friends. You just need to have a plan because if you fail to plan, then your plan is to fail. The Don does not plan to fail. The Don plans to succeed. Uh, and I will be keeping you all updated exclusively with my trade setup ideas, strategy ideas, entry ideas, exit ideas, etc. You name it. I will be keeping you updated with that all exclusively in VIP. If you are not already in my VIP, that's where I will be posting all of that as I look to potentially crush the market like a two-ton man on a tuna fish can. Let's get this crypto. I will see you all in VIP right now after this video if you want to see all of that exclusive content from me. And my friends, if you could one last time for the algorithm, a thumbs up is so greatly appreciated. Thank you very much, my friends. And if you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, tick the little bell, select all, and let's get this crypto. Welcome to the channel and welcome to La Familia. My friends, leave a comment down below with what you think. Which direction are we going to break? And that is going to wrap it up here, my friends. So until next time, the Don has spoken. Be safe, be happy, be healthy. It's your boy, Crypto Kirby. Peace and love, my friends. Curbs. The material in this video has no regard to the specific investment objectives, financial situation, or particular needs of any viewer. This video was presented solely for informational and entertainment purposes and is not to be construed as a recommendation, solicitation, or an offer to buy or sell any securities, commodities, cryptocurrencies, or any related financial instruments. Nor should any of its content be taken as investment advice. Crypto Kirby is not a financial advisor. The views expressed in this video are completely speculative opinions and do not guarantee any specific result or profit. Trading and investing is extremely high risk and can result in the loss of all of your capital. Any opinions expressed in this video are subject to change without notice. Crypto Kirby is not under any obligation to update or keep current the information contained herein. Crypto Kirby may have an interest in the securities, commodities, cryptocurrencies, and or derivatives. Of any entities referred to in this material. Crypto Kirby accepts no liability whatsoever for any loss or damage of any kind arising out of the use of all or any part of this material. Crypto Kirby recommends that you consult with a licensed and qualified professional before making any investment or trading decisions. Thank you for watching and have a great day.